money is a good thing to have. <laughs> Most of my money just disappears. I don't know where it goes. I like it. I like it. Why are these economic terms so important? I have to get things now. <laughs> I usually try and save a certain amount. And then when the bill comes... Whoa. I've never seen something like that. That's when the problem begins. And that's how you end up broke in this business. <laughs> My opportunity call? How can you really make your money work for you? Interest. Put your money in the bank. Economic terms. Supply and demand. Two kinds of inflation. Why are these economic terms so important? If we don't study economics, you're going to get played. It's very important that you understand why things cost the prices that they do, why prices change. And I want you to realize right now, as we get started, that economics and economic terms affect our daily lives. Supply and demand is very important because supply and demand tells us what the price of anything is going to be. Here we have the Beanie Baby. This is a Beanie Baby. I've never seen one before, but thank you for bringing it along, Molly. See, there are only so many Beanie Babies to go around. Supply and demand, okay? The supply is limited. Demand is great. The greater the demand, the greater the cost, the greater the price. Let's see. You're watching TV and you're watching the news and um, they say something about um, doctors have found out that if you have more potatoes in your diet or more eggs that it'll help fight cancer or you'll be more healthy or something like that. Like, wouldn't the price go up because the demand would be more? Absolutely. And that is what we call demand-driven inflation, okay? Because the same amount of eggs or the same amount of potatoes are going to be there when that news came out, except the next day everyone's going to be running out of their homes going out to buy the potatoes to fight cancer. Right. So that's what we call a demand-driven inflation. Inflation only means that things are getting more expensive. So we have two kinds of inflation. Demand pull inflation, pulling prices up, or cost push inflation where prices are getting higher because the costs are going up. I went to go visit my aunt in western Pennsylvania, and we went to the movies, and it was $3. So now I'm back in New York City, and to go to the movies, it's $9.50 for one person. Why is that? Look, the cost of running a movie theater in western Pennsylvania isn't nearly as much as it is in New York City. What they pay in terms of taxes on the real estate, what they pay their workers to run the theater and, and run the movie, is a lot less in western Pennsylvania than it is in downtown New York. And also to the fact that people in New York City are well known for loving movies, are going to be more willing to spend more money. If we're going to keep up with inflation, we definitely, beyond a shadow of a doubt, need to think about interest. By interest, we think, what are we going to do with our money to make it grow, to make it stronger, to make it more powerful? Because things are going to get more expensive. What are you going to do? You're going to put your money in the bank. There's one last term today that we definitely need to cover because it has to do with everyday life, the most complicated decisions, and the most simple decisions. And that has to do with opportunity cost. It's whatever you give up. If I decide that I want to get my orange juice this morning from the five-star restaurant, well, my opportunity cost is maybe going to be that I'm not going to be able to afford to eat lunch today. And we all face opportunity cost. When we make one decision, it's the value of what we have given up. So I know owing interest is bad. But sometimes you have to pay for things. So like when I go to college, I'll have to get student loans. If you're taking out a loan to go to college, think about what going to college is going to do for you so far as all the opportunities it's going to provide. By choosing to go to college, the downside is, yes, you have to pay off this money. But think about all of the doors and windows that going to college, because of those loans, it's going to offer for you in the future. It's very important that you are aware of the decisions that you make pertaining to economics every day.